gosh. Well, I, which one thing I love so much, sorry, is when you fetch your lore out, you get the, the, the one, they want them. That's associated with them. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. So I love how I just have fail not in the screen now. It's great. You know what? I have no idea if there's a benefit of New Game Plus. What's well, that's gonna make things easier, but I'm gonna say yeah, let's create a New Game Plus file. Select so use to carry over support levels. Data such as gear and class levels will, will carry over automatically. Right? Yeah, you'll get it eventually. Um, oh gosh. I don't know who to choose. You know what? I don't know who to I don't think I need quad. I just don't think I need quad. Cause I'm pretty sure he's route specific. Yeah, hi Byleth. But yeah, I'm pretty sure quad is route specific. So I don't see much point in carrying. I don't uh sorry Ash, I'm not Do I really want to carry over their gear and class? Ugh, this is so big. I should have broken at level one, though. <laughs> you know what? I don't care, bro. That's like Claude. Carry over support levels. Okay, for patterns will be carried over during the second battle, chapter one. All over there will be carried over. Okay, third battle. Well, let's do normal. Let's see how this goes. We're doing casual, because I get stuck so... Uh, we'll do slow and steady. Hello, cutscene! It's been such a while, I don't remember. Right, this is the Ripper! I, I have, it's been Marianne, Marianne and Quan since I've lost because they just got trapped because they got frozen in place. Yes, this is the Tale Team Plains. As I remember this, but yeah, Marianne and Constance, they got like trapped and frozen in place. So people did a bunch of enemies and they had to retreat. They're the only two people that's gone down. It's because they got frozen in place and just bodied. Oh. All this bloodshed. Will it never come to an end? No, Flame. No. But yeah, I'm planning. Byleth is just going. My plan for Byleth is. I'm gonna try and recruit Byleth. We'll see if it happens. Hi, Armal! I just. I just no. I don't think I remember seeing Arbor there. <laughs> just led by. Oh, this, this battle is epic. I. I didn't in the Golden Deer playthrough. I did in Golden Deer, so I. I don't think we know what their dra like their draconic forms are. We just know that they used to be On able to do it to from already, Silver Snow. Yeah. So I never learned. It might happen in. It might happen in Blue Lions or Crimson, not Crimson Flower. Black Eagles. Uh, finally. Come on, sunshine. Up and at him. I do get to choose, right? Okay, good. I want to choose male this time. 
Hey, get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. And because I think it would be ironic if we named him Victor, as in, you know, we get the victory. We're gonna do it. Because it's so funny how we keep losing against the Ashen Demons so many times. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. Oh, do I want to be rude? Nah. Apologies, friend. I'm all right. Is the battle at hand? Of course it is. Why else would I be standing here? Well, you well, heard who we're up against, yeah? Geralt's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight if true, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? <laughs> Of course I did. It was... I, by the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Ah, yes. And now... No. We're choosing female. And hopefully... Yes! It did choose Hectate from my magic series. That's what I wanted. Yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. <laughs> well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come along with I just realized she's a bow knight. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. I think you mean the deadest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. <laughs> Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? You just thought of it. <laughs> what did I just thought about? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice that, but maybe I realized that when I first played this, but I forgot, because, you know, it's been like... I don't... It's been like a... I got this... No, I got this in August. So I think about half of the year. Most well, rest my I don't, I don't know that I... You know what? Never mind. It's gonna be fine, so long as we both watch our backs. <laughs> yeah! Bye, Gez! Gets? Gez? Whatever your name is. Grease, I think? I don't care. Yeah. Lightning magic attacks to flick the shock condition on enemies. Oh good, you're done. Alright, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Let's move out. Lastly. Drive them straight into their graves. <laughs> Time to see what you're made of. All right. I forgot how cool our attacks are. They're not putting up much of a fight. These guys new recruits or something? I guess this means I can mess with them a little. Yeah, sure, mess with them all you want. Um, and Doctor Evans, forever going down. Right? Yes, no. Yes, that's that. The good news is that I'm only streaming the first 
Hey, I'm only streaming like this there. first. I'm only streaming up until the first mission of when you join the Blue Alliance, and then everything else gets recorded to on YouTube. Just because I find that this, the first episode, like the first begin star takes so long in this game. I'm like, I need to stream this. Like, my first two episodes in Golden Deer were an hour long, because I was like, I can't stop in the middle. Let's do a class action. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay. You know what? We need to top up on health. Might as well. I'll take out the stronghold over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Uh, Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. Thanks! It makes you feel better. I keep bringing this up to your channel, so. It's one of the ones. I think you have it. Like, oh yeah, no, can you to do that? Then forget. I totally get the feeling. Drain the strong whole general sun get all right. Right, I forgot this is tutorial time. The captain ran off ahead of us. Is she gonna be okay? Master your fear and advance! Oh boy! Keep your eyes open. We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here. The Ashen Demon's totally here. There we go. That it? The main force is here. We're saved. Now push, push the enemy back. Oh yeah. That time a foe with some teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Yeah, I keep thinking that Burling. That's <laughs> great, <laughs> man. I should be disappeared. You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This'll be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. What? Captain? <sighs> they took out Lasley like she was nothing. Ugh. I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. Yeah! You know, it's not like you're employing a kid right now. I'm the same age. Right? Theoretically, she's weaker because he has my magic rod. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, I get all the health we can. Just when my dream was finally in sight. Monster. Okay, where am I meant to go here? The captain's dead. What are we gonna do now? Yeah, okay, we are meant to go to here. Hi! I love this music for when the Ashen Demon appears. Stand down or die. We're gonna stand, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna avenge yeah. the captain. You mean die? <laughs> Bravely? Man, I'm already on this one. It's just one murder. You mean die? No, this can't be happening. But it is. Hmm. 
Okay, storage shot, got it. <laughs> Bye! No, this is where we die. Perish with you. Huh? The cycle of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Right? Like, oh, this is such. This scene is so epic. Yeah, I'm all powered up now. Okay, can I get Where did you get that power? Here it comes. Out of the way. <laughs> You're done. Zero damage? No idea. But it's just what I need to bring you down. Yeah. We're here to help. Is it just me or is it Am I even taking down her health bar? I don't think I am. X. X. Hit X, you stupid. Oh my gosh. You're elite, huh? We'll see about that. Okay. Okay, I'm like, it feels like I'm not cutting it down. No escape. Yeah, no, there is no escaping you. That's enough. We did what we can. No! Everyone, fall back. What? Man, I didn't even get your health bar down to fifth. Sorry, but this fight is over. To a half, not fifth. Hey, wait. Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. Yeah. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Bye! Hey, we're not done here. <sighs> wait. Why am I... Oh, the so irony of him being called tired. Victor is so great. Because he's losing battles and it's great. <laughs> Hi. Huh? Where am I? Oh, good. You're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Yeah, sure. Whatever, out horrible. Yeah. I don't trust you. Ask the speaker. Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arval? Or why don't you give me your real name? Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. I know things about Arval, but I'm not telling you because it's spoilers. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, oh my, that's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well, you are a crucial piece of this world, cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. For now. I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. Back on I my understand. feet. I understand. I'm already up and about. Ah, perhaps here you are, but not in reality where it counts. Look at all the other Garth and Tech behind you. <laughs> your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. 
Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, right, you will I reach have... the same conclusion. Yeah, no, theories is nothing wrong. I also have a theory about how, why in this timeline, Shay's a... Sorry, not Shay, I think it's Shay. Shay is alive, but I can't go into that without spoiling something, so... This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. So what I'm hearing is that we need to go jump off a cliff. <laughs> oh my god. Let's find where it comes from. Stronger. The man I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? The gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. Oh, poor Shay, the best though. Way to honor I my do feel fallen bad. Is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Of course though you I do. I expected no less from my partner in destiny. Of course you do, Arbel. I'm sorry. What? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. All right. Let's have to overwrite this save file. A chance Prologue. encounter. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. Ah, uh, so good to hear your voice narrating. To the north again, is the Gerald. holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is the Keep being relative. Monastery, seat of the Church of Seros, the land's widely practiced faith, and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire. And west of this oh, place Remire. stretches a forest Good where a lone mercenary awaits. I forget that Ramire's in the empire. I always think like it's close to the kingdom. Hey, wake up! Right? Yeah, it's no. It fallen is such a great uh, world. How many times must we do this? Get up already. I mean, I've said this before, and I doubt they're going to do this. But I want them. I know we know like a bit about, like Saros. I want. I very. I still very much with like game of all thing. Like where we're being. Like we have to. Like we're Saros and all the saints that were taking down Nemesis and the Ten Elites. It's like, I would love to play a game. And Bridget and Dagna, those would be great too. Like, I feel like they could do more with this and just make flight spinoffs. I know they're not going to, but... Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. 
It's still dark out though. <laughs> because you know we're clueless. Oh, yes, I was calling you many times, I might add. Ah, uh, yes. Shay and Violet. So <sighs> not so clueless. <laughs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. Seriously, Jay. So sorry. Victor, I need to start using the name I chose. Seriously, Victor, why did you think jumping off a cliff is a good idea? Like, I'm just saying, how could jumping off a cliff make you tougher and stronger? And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. Hey, myself. You could at least let me pick my own directions. Though I admit, I might have taken a wrong turn. I guess I don't know. It's so it's stu it's so stupid though. <laughs> Either way. Finally, some humility. That's almost reassuring. I was starting to think you were incapable of self-reflection. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. Oh and by my me, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more. Okay, than our old things! Anything else you want to kill today? Now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Hi, Dimitri! Lost, We're shot. ready to join you! We've got it on Imperial authority that this is yep. the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. I mean, to be fair, Claude is probably fairly good. Good at navigation. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally get like you charge them up and fight. I, you know. Hold both of you. Someone's here. Oh wait, no. Another bandit, perhaps. Emblem. There are emblems. I forgot. I haven't played the game, so I forgot that that emblems are glowing. Yeah, I forgot that emblems in the gauge are that. <laughs> <sighs> They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. <laughs> well, that makes everything better. <laughs> a bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I mean, to be fair, Dimitri's not wrong. However, you might want to interrogate me. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? They'll say, yeah, sure, we have no other choice. Press sale what? For the click? Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Oh my Don't gosh, I'm level 47! <laughs> I'm gonna be so broken! <laughs> We're just gonna be so broken. I guess I I could cheat. I think I can cheat down the level if I need to after this, but not until we get the. I guess I really did get stronger. There they are. Kill them all. Wait, I just realized that means Claude's probably around the same level as well. Fighting for them now, are ya? You can die 
play with their new friends. I can I get control, please? I'm about. I'd like to get control of you, Dimitri. I know I'm meant to control someone here, am I not? I'll deal with things here. There we go. Watch this. Yeah, Edelgard's still level one. I'm curious about Claude. Be sure to tend to your wounds, Um, maybe. I don't know. That's how it's done. I know that when I recruit people, they will, but. I'm so I bet Claude's also overpowered as well. It's Hail Guard and whatnot. That's super weak. Well, I suppose my turn has arrived. Yes, come on, Dimitri. I've awaited this moment. I won't allow Earth you to stop. You're making me feel bad for the enemy, Dimitri. I can still fight. Really? I haven't. I only played the demo of Triangle Strategy. It's something that I'm probably gonna get for like Christmas next. Apologies. And by get, I mean by. Or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of brats. Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already. <laughs> Right, let's go, Dimitri. Is it Claude time? I think it's Claude time. Yeah, it's Claude time. I'm trying. No I'm really used to being. Oh no! Wait. All right. Claude does it. All right. Claude won't gain a level until next chapter. Although it doesn't matter. Lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. <laughs> so much for you. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest. Oh, I did! I did! Road. Right! I did on Slut Quad, because I knew I won't control him. Okay, there we are. Like, let me control. Okay. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Here I go. No mistakes. I got. Ilga oh, you want me to? Okay. They must learn who they're up against. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that you are so. I was just back. No, we're not. I'm sorry. But no. I've got this. We must strong. I don't care. We're controlling Dimitri. He needs the levels. I'm probably just gonna cheat down Victor. This will help secure our victory. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna treat down Victor's levels, but now oh, there's literally nothing. What's going? Unfurl the flag. I'm curious what Ash's level. Ash is also gonna be overpowered. Know it if they're all like this. That ought to unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense! Get out there and tear them all to pieces! Azure Lightning, level one. Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? Here I go. Well, you're no going with that one, they so. Must learn who they're up against. Let's try this. Why is quite good against? Okay, whatever. Not 
Not a problem. I've got this. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think we have no choice but to. I've got this. Shay. Take a breather. Unfortunately. Oh, hi, always. Repent, foul bandits. The knights of Seros are here. I wish we could control you, Eloise, because it's such a shame that we can't have a support between you and Happy, since, you know, you were nice to her while she was in Abyss. Oops, I, I forgot I have a sword of Zoltan as well. The knights of Seros! Not now! If I don't kill at least one of them, Brett, I'm finished! Watch out. They're gonna make a last ditch effort to rush our position. Thanks, squad. Not a problem. I've got this. You stated the obvious. Thank you. Oh wait, hang Let's on. Try this. Claude, you're good against that person for some reason, so. We will proceed as planned. And Dimitri, you absolutely suck. Maybe? He might be. I am! I am also the second class of, of that. I have a Zord of Zoltan plus 20, and I'm the highest. I'm, I'm Astra. Oh my gosh. You can plus is absolutely broken. And then. I've got this. Form ranks and capture those bandits. Quickly now. No okay, problem. I know. I take the lead. This is where you <laughs> die, <laughs> Right? Might as well. I mean, do some real I mean, Ash will be overpowered too, so we cannot allow ourselves to perish. We must spare no splitter. Yeah, I know Night Mealer isn't the best against you, but we're using all the combat arts. Yeah, it's usually standard practice to dodge a guy who's trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, it's usually standard practice to dodge a guy who's going to kill you. Oh, I'm not wrong. Bum, 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 bum. And the music in this game slaps. Is it over? Yes, it is, Victor. Yes, it is. I didn't even realize he was in the second. There's our S rank. I won't let myself stop here. Oh. All right. All right. I forgot. Dark spikes. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I mean, honestly. I know you were joking about a so a shade shall run. Hang on. Red. More seriously, the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and totally the heir to the Alliance? <laughs> yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed. Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude Von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Wait, hang on. Is Demetrius here? Uh, wait. Am I, am I insane? But do I feel like Demetrius' hair is slightly being pulled to one side like it's in a breeze bit of a miracle we ran into you out there but hey I'll take it we'll play it cool oh, 
I'm sure the three of you could have handled the situation just fine without me. No need for false humility. We'd likely have perished if not for your help. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder yeah, why it's been you're not wrong. It just looks weird. I get that, like, you know, it's meant to look like that, but... Still, I don't it's know. no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Yeah, they're about to get wrecked, Arvel. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join well, them. Well, maybe I don't want to hunt Hectate down. Maybe I want to join up with Dimitri. Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Ramire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Ramire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. <sighs> Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. <laughs> the irony is that it's actually true! <laughs> and that you missed your chance. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenaries. Hi, Owlies. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? You're right, yes, though. Apparently jumping off the, the cliffs. <laughs> cliffs and getting surrounded by... <laughs> oh, gosh. New Game Plus. I'm so... Honestly, I don't want, to, I kind of don't want to cheat any of the people I've used before down just to see if this makes it so broken. And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes, and those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? Yeah. They may be in Ramire Village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. Eh, uh, well, they're actually- Actually, I think by now they're chatting- They might already have moved on. Because they were just about to leave when the house leaders arrived, come so. Back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. All right, Dimitri. This is clearly the wisest course of action. Not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. Okay, Elgon. Of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? No. There's a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Give me my weapon. Right then. So off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? No, no, I definitely did not. Yes, always. do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Apparently not enough to catch the attention of Raya. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Boom. Uh, 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 this ties into my theory of like. This ties to my theory of like why in uh, in Three Hopes, Shay is alive. But I can't explain it without spoilers. Spoilers, but basically, I think in this one, we... Let's just say there was an incident that we didn't survive before we became a mercenary, and that's why we're not alive. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! I know! Uh, we also can't cheer on Aloise's jokes. <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. <sighs> Support! Support! 
Save the vibe, strike the bond, blah blah blah, okay. And now... I think I have the cha-cha always first. Hey! Welcome to our humble base camp! I don't know. I'm curious. I assume you're familiar with the Officers Academy on the grounds of Garrick Mock Monster, yes? Three young people you assisted earlier are the heads of the Academy's three houses. But you'll find our students, teachers, and even members of the Knights of Saros here at camp. Now, I fear you've caused the middle of an annual outdoor activity carried out at the beginning of the academic That's school year. Concerning. But the situation became quite a mess when that brig band of brigands attacked us. I wish we could chat, Link, but it seems the free class heads wish to speak Let's with see. you. Alas, I cannot keep you all to myself. That is the, an opportunity for you to bond for your rescuees. Let's see. Um... Okay, we. I I might as well talk with all the golden deers. Hey, aren't you that merc who helped out Claus so. and the others? I'm actually going to become a mercenary myself. That's why I'm enrolled in the Officers Academy. Courage your dreams. Right in that case, I hope we end up working Thanks. together. Thanks. I'll give all I'll I got. I'm going to work myself to the bow so I can be strong as the captain someday. Hmm. Ah, it is you. Ah, oh, you must be the famed mercenary of the woods who stepped in unabidden to aid Claude. As a known representative of Lester Alliance, I must offer you my thanks. Uh, we're gonna shrug him off. Oh. Whatever you say, pal, see you around. Funny. Wait a moment! If you are indeed a mercenary, then you must hope to gain influence with me. <laughs> no, no, Lawrence. After all, I am Lawrence Helming Luster! <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, um, you're not mercenary I was talking about Victor, was it? You're not attempting to carry any favor of children in the building pursue some nefarious aim, are you? No, nothing like that. Uh -uh. No, but I just saw folks in trouble and helped them out. Didn't even know they were noble until afterwards. Mm. I see. And who do you think your mercenary friend? Do you think your mercenary friend is someone trustworthy, Marianne? Mm. What me? I I'm um. Busy. Well, either way, we need to be going. We're busy. Did you need hey, Ignatz. Mm. Hey, you're a new face. Are you sent from one of the other houses? Mm. You must be the mercenary we've been hearing so much about. What's your name again? Tell me your name. Right on. Yeah, I'm Victor. Good to meet you. What house are you guys no with? Problem. We're in Claude's house, the Golden Deer, but we're just very rural common folk. Due to the nature of Lester, we have more students from the common class than your houses. You know... They're not wrong. We have Leone, Raph, Ignatz. Ignatz. They're all common. They have three commoners. Black Eagles has one commoner. Er, uh, and then I think yeah, and then Blue Lights has two. Well, two technically one. Well, nah, I guess I don't know technically. Like uh, Ash and Mercedes are technically commoners. However, like they have noble house ties. Weirdly. Please. I imagine you're kind of yourself. What with being mercenary and all. Oh wait, hang on. Hey, Claude. Hey there. Thanks. Hey friend, appreciate what you did back there. Well, it have been a world of hurt without mm. you. Oh, in regarding compensation, I always told me not to pay you personally. I guess they want to handle it as a church thing. Sorry about that. No, mm. always. You sure I could trust this always guy? Heh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I shouldn't expect you to have faith in any random stranger who walks by. And I bet you helped us out, and I'm extremely grateful Speaking for that. Of. Speaking of which, have you talked with the other students How's here that? at camp? I can tell you a bit about the students in my going to your house. Yeah, I mean, as much as I want to, I already did this over in my Golden Deer playthrough. So, sorry, Claude. Oh, there you are, Hilda. Oh, hey. 
Oh, hey, are you the mercenary who clawed out huh. that little jam? I heard you're super strong, so I was kind of picturing you as one of those huge bodybuilders or something. Laugh of damage. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, I'm just your average guy. <laughs> Too average if you ask me. Talk about a letdown. <laughs> Aw, come on, I'm just joking. You're pretty easy to talk to, so I couldn't help myself. Thanks. Anyway, thanks for having the clawed out. Oh. Right, this is. Oh. Hey, Linhart, wake up. Look, I get that you're tired, but we're leaving at the crack of dawn, remember? Mm. The banana attacked so much has for sleep, so I must. Hmm, and who might you be? Give some details. Am. Hey there, the name's Victor. I'm a merc who's just passing through the area. Got caught up in finding those bandits earlier, which is how I ended up here. Wait, so you're the one who took out the boss? You were amazing. Sure, I can't even chase not them about a bit myself, but oh well. <coughs> mm. This is one thing that's ugh, so much like talking and reading because it's not fully voiced. That's my. Hi, hi, Ferdy. Look who has arrived. I really hope I can recruit you this time, and I don't have to kill you. I mean, not that. Well, 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 the mercenary could tell the leader in those feeds. I must say, that was quite a capable display you put on back there. <laughs> I'm Fer von, von Eyre, the le legitimate scion of the Eyre family and former host house of the Empire. Try to play along. Mm. Yeah, I think I've heard about you. You're one of the Empire's big movers, what? right? You think? You have heard of us? But I never. Now, see here, my silver friend. We're house I we are House Eyre, proud eagles of the Empire. Clearly, I must work harder as a beak of the common folk so they might cry the name of my family from one end of the continent to the other. Hey, oh lord. Thank you. Well, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd, I'd like to discuss your future if you have a moment. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objectives, I'm hoping we might hire you on with the what Empire. I could promise you you'll be handsomely played, including the work you did today, so what do you say? As for what she looks on me, I'm not usually hired to service by people quite so high up in the food chain. Why the special attention? <laughs> I value your talent now that I've had the ability to see it. First hand? What? Hang on. That was weird. On the By the way, have you- what is happening? I have never had- I might have- you know, I think after this I have to just restart my PC. I think it's simply that. Alright, have you spent with the hours here at camp? If you like to tell you a bit about the students in the, my own house, the Black Eagles. Okay, so I recruit Dorothea. Dorothea no, she's not. level one. Okay. She's an, for some reason, she... Great. Okay. Bye. Please be listening. Listen. Hello, I'm called Petra. I'm finding you to be quite fascinating. Give your name. On. Hello there, I'm Victor. I'm technically a mercenary, though I guess right now I'm kind of that just a drifter. I do not say anything. Where are you drifting yeah, to? Uh, through the world? You know, just sort of kick around with no real angle. Hey, my mom. Look, I've healed so many people today that I never want to look at advantage again. On, what, who do we have here? No, wait, just say, let Come me guess. It. You're the brave vagabond not to appear to boldly protect me from those brigands earlier. Uh, Not exactly what? the name's Victor. I'm a mercenary. <sighs> I see. In that case, I'm a well, a woman of many faces, teacher, doctor, songstress. But I refer to myself to the very bone today, so right now I'm merely a sad and lonesome woman. A moment of your time. Quite. I'm Hammond, professor at the Officers Academy. I heard tale of your exploits, which to express my thanks. Oh, and another Matt Do you possess a caress? 
Flame is barked oh, up the road trees. See. I know particularly not the bat crest, but I'm still pretty sure I'd know if I had one. <laughs> Julie, you have never investigated the subject. People are not always aware of the power of their own crest, you know. Oh, oh. Listen well now. Crests are the power that dwells through the blood, and they are passed down for generations from parent to child. Those who crest make so magic or have abilities to will powerful weapons on this hero's mm. relics. If you were to come to my residence at the monastery, I would take the time to conduct a full investigation if you like. I'm curious. I oh, know, I just have the- Okay, I have master seals left. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if I go to other, it gives me their level. And this is- oh my gosh! Ash! Hey Ash! Hey there! Oh, you must be that mercenary I've been hearing about. I'm Ash. I'm a student at Garrett Mock's Officers Academy. Do you know about the Academy? So there are free houses, each based on where a person is from. Don't have heard of it. Well, I've heard of it, alright? One of my players a little ways back when I showed up about we got into the place. Ha, huh, I can see that. Lots of influential nobles and royals from all over study at the academy. I actually find it pretty daunting to be surrounded by the rich and powerful. Hmm. It's a lot easier to talk to someone like you. Thanks, Elaine. Thanks. Hello, oh, friend, you're the one who have to meet Tree, right? Well, we all owe you a favor for that, so if you need a meal, it's on me. I appreciate it. as well. I offer my thanks with a meal, too, but I heard that you will be leaving Can us behind shortly. Moment? Oh, I don't believe I got your name. Hold your name. My name's Victor. Keep in mind in case you ever need a heavy hitter. <laughs> I'll do that. And while it's a fortune of prime weeks here, I suspect we may have a chance to meet again in the future. Sooner than you think, Ingrid. Should we know the time to get to know her a little better, though? Hey girls! Oh, you're that mercenary! It's great to meet you. I'm Annette, and this is my best friend, Mercedes. Hello there. It's nice to meet your acquaintance. Have you already spoken with the others? Say that you have. Oh. That's them. Um, yeah, you gotta really cast the characters the here. Is. Well, is this someone to that's go right. get her? We haven't even talked to everyone yet, but that's because we only started at the officers' academy. You probably know them better than we do. Huh, it's you. You're that new merc, right, Victor? The boar said you have some skill. You'll have to give me a demonstration before we head out. Agree. Let's agree. Let's ask who the boar is. Hey. Sorry, the boar? <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's not your problem. Right, okay. Wait, hang on. Oh, did you? Do? It's you. My thanks. You assisted his highness to have my gratitude. I will see this debt repaid. Shrug off. Uh -uh. Oh, I just chipped it in a little at the no. end there. Well or no, I must offer my thanks. To be honest, I like to treat you to a meal, but we like the time. Everyone wants to give me food! It's great. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> me, 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 me. Oh, wait, who? Right, hang on. Oh, I missed two blue. Oh, hello. oh Dorothea. Oh, hello. You must be the mercenary AD told us about. I'm Dorothea. I've heard about- You've heard about the Officers Academy, right? We're pretty much all the seer students from the Black Eagle House here at the moment. Well, except for Bernda, which is sadly typical. <sighs> Stay behind because she was terrified of the deal. We might not be attacked in the woods. I can't believe she ended up being right. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to ramble. Has anyone ever told you you're surprisingly easy to talk to? And hello, Hubert Vaughn. I have. I definitely don't know how those bones got under my bed, Von Vestra. Mm. Oh yes, you're the mercenary we happen to cross. Oh, While I harbor some reservations about you, the fact remains that you assisted Lady Edelgard, and for that I offer my gratitude. Huh? Except his prize. 
Happy to help, but I wouldn't mind some details about the whole reservation right. part. My thoughts are mine alone. You need not concern yourself with the matter. Okay, now we can go over to Dimitri. You have my thanks. Then maybe again by being the first to convey my gratitude to you, Victor. We are in your Speaking debt. Also, I examined a map earlier and the village you are heading seems to be a little more fur to the east. Thank you for the Thanks. advice. Appreciate it. I checked the map earlier, but wouldn't tell where in the woods I actually was. <laughs> well, I'm glad it could be of service. Hope you're able to reach your destination this Find time. You'll be sitting until sunrise, yes? I hope you have the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, the nice problem that I did on you suddenly. You'll likely find yourself at a loss to whom you ought to speak How to. About this? On that note, I'd be more than happy to give you an introduction to Eddie Blue Lion and House students. Yeah! <laughs> your interest flatters me. But I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic but? when next we speak. But uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? Yes, we are. That's about to do. Hails from the land of Dusker. Perhaps you've heard of it. Yes, I have. He tends to keep to himself, but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my. Vassal, speak to him, and you'll see why. That's a shame, yeah, to... <laughs> Dimitri. We all know you want to, to call him friend. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue, but he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Okay, Jasper. I know it says that Ash he's level one. However, Castle's I think Monotone. theoretically it should raise the level up. <coughs> he's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. I'm sure it will. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. Okay, it has her certain monk. Interesting, because when I encountered her in Golden Deer, she was a warrior wielding crusher. I could stand to learn from her single minded devotion, if only a little. Annette is the hardest Oops, worker in no. the. I could stand to learn from her. Sorry, I didn't mean to ask again. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That may be Womanizer, right, womanizer. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea. And she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his... And yet, he still does that. It's like Dawn's almost here. Victor, have you spoken with House That's Leaders yet? Concerning. But you're leaving, but that won't if do. Actually, I was hoping that I could ask some of you. Will you hear me out? My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service, and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. 
At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. Um, um, at least no, no, I'm not spilling my blood. Bye, I I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> this sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrett Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. Uh, it's not my the poor case, Alois, but I can see where this is heading. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. Yeah, noble. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Boom. Kiss. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you... how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man could pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. I'm sorry, what ding and debts? I'm seeing nothing. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add. I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Of course you want to get to know us better, Ayla. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this, considering you're only here because of us. But, well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The Knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. We're gonna let him at the rocket no choice. No one gets a say when they're up against a squadron of knights. No, I suppose not. Apologies again for dragging you into this mess. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll it's find fine. a way to make it up to you, I promise. Uh, we'll see how that goes, Claude. Uh, I'm kind of ditching you. I'll thank him. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey, hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind. You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? Well, let's reflect on Aelgard. Like Aelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Bless Claude. a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. Unfortunately, Victor, we're working with Dimitri. <laughs> of course, you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you'd better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Crossroads.
prologue. Three houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, yeah, I forgot each a student of Derek Mock's Officers Academy, and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Garrig Mach. I do love this cut scene of Garrig Mach, though. It makes it look so much grander than I originally thought. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. Rhea, I was It was nothing. You take a job, you make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. No! No, I do not! It will be my downfall. The reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? Yeah. We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Well, no. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. I mean, yeah. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. Oh god. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. Yeah, but I seem happy about it. All right. I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. Yep. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. Feel the free. academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodland. Some are noble while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Well then, it's time to choose the Blue Lions. So you wish to join Dimitri's Blue Lions. Are you certain? Yep. Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. 
<laughs> Hello, I want to cut you down. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. <laughs> Maybe some hair pulling? <laughs> Why did you think that to be the case? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. Oh, oh, oh I'm a child. Whatever. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Be quiet, Arbo. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Yeah. Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. This and the Blue Lion House are not playable. Yes, Ashes level 45. <laughs> Professor Yuritsa told me the good news. Welcome to the Blue Lion House. I'm excited for us to learn and grow together. But for now, please, make yourself at home. Our whole house has been buzzing since we heard you were getting assigned here. So we're going to treat you to a welcome feast tonight. <laughs> Assuming you're okay with the fancy offerings at the dining hall, that is. You saved His Highness's life. That means the whole kingdom owes you one. And I can't think of a better way to get to know each other than gathering around the table for a meal. Hey, you know... You're not wrong, though. So I think everyone in this house disagrees with you as they think it's training at the sparring ground is a better Enough way. Enough chatter. You're a mercenary, right? How's your swordsmanship? You must have some skill if the boar here give you passing marks. But I won't know for sure until we cross blades at the training grounds. I'll see you there before dinner. Okay. That's no way to talk, Felix. You are being rude. Still, I must admit I'm curious as well. Rumor has it, you're quite the exceptional fighter. I'm happy to spar with any of you. Frankly, this brings me right back to my old Merc buddies. Trade blows if you must, but please try not to injure each other. The training grounds can be a little tough to find. Oh, why don't I show you the way later? Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. One wrong turn and you're up in the library staring down the tallest stack of books you've ever seen. <laughs> yes, this is the largest monastery in Fodlan, so it's easy to get lost if you let your mind wander. If you struggle to settle in, say so. You helped His Highness. We are in your debt. Oh, do! Hi, Yuritsa. Remember your mission? We are to stamp out what's left of the Iron King's thieves. If I may, Professor, it seems a bit challenging for a first mission. But their leader, Costas, has already been dealt with. If the professor thinks us capable of mopping up the rest, I trust his judgment. We're fine! Ash is level 45! <laughs> of course, prof Oh, he's gone. Professor Yuritsa isn't much of a talker. Or easy to talk to, for that matter. I'm certain you'll get used to him. He may be a touch curt, but he's not a bad person at heart. You would know that. Bandit hunting right out of the gate? This is quite the mission. After the events in the mountains, I hesitate to put His Highness in further danger. You worry too much to do. Besides, we have a trustworthy new ally coming with us. That's, uh, we'll take the prison I've okay? given bandits a dirt nap before, and I'll do it again. Huh, well, I'm convinced. 
What like evidence? we're headstrong. We should be doubly prepared. And we'll be counting on our mercenary friend here to assist us. We'll fire off a quest. Sure thing, Dimitri. You just keep counting while I'm off racking up all the glory. <laughs> oh boy. Two weeks later. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. Oh, hey, Count Rose. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. Don't worry, we'll spill their blood to the ground. There'll be nothing left. I mean, what? You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. And we'll kill them all. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We'll follow the what now? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. Professor Yuritsa. Where are you going? He's following the blood set. You can learn a lot, Dimitri. Well, he must have deduced where the bandits are. We should keep pace. I have to know. I'm so curious. Pathetic. I really hope that Felix comments on like, oh wow, he's more violent than you, boar. Professor, it does not seem wise to charge ahead without. Mm hmm. What's this? From the look of it, they're bandits. Or they were. Dead by my hand. Oh. Wait, so are these the bad guys we were after? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Interesting. That must be their stronghold. In that case, we'd better clean the place oh, out wait, before no. they harm the nearby villages. I... They've got their tails between their legs now, so this should be easy. Let's go. Whoa there. Doesn't this whole fortress thing raise red flags for anyone else? Yes, yes, it I agree. If this is their stronghold, why are there no signs of life? It could be a trap to lure us in. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out the entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. I wouldn't go that far. But I agree we need to investigate, especially if something seems off. <laughs> Ashley, uh, yeah, no? The decision is not ours to make. That's right. We're still on a mission, after all. It's up to Professor Yuritsa. Oh, everyone just slowly turns their head. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But isn't it dangerous for us to go by ourselves? There can't be more than a handful. You should have no issue. If need be, I will intervene. Yeah, you sound confident, but I've still got a bad feeling about this. Brace for the worst. No guts, no glory, am I right? Should things go awry, your highness, stay behind me. <laughs> if things go awry, I will fall back. And I expect the rest of you to do the same. I'm more than ready for this fortress. Let's see if it's ready for me. I feel like it's a missed opportunity for Felix. It was a missed opportunity for Felix not to go. Oh wow, this. Yeah, I did. Like, just I would have absolutely loved him to call Felix to comment on the savagery of Professor Eureka uh, to Dimitri and just compare them. If the professor's with us, I'm certain we'll be fine. Then it's settled. Stay vigilant, everyone. Okay, so 
I get ash? Wow, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting ash. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting ash. <laughs> Wait, I didn't wanna say. Uh, I can't change. Okay, that's fine. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Huh? Hey, we got intruders. Are you killing these people with such ease? Well, that was something. Moving on. I made it. So this is what real battle is like. Yeah? I'm not letting you past here. My life depends on it. Now we know who to kill to open the gate. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Let's secure the interior. Wait at this moment. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Not a problem. A sign of agitated. Let's begin. Allow me to help. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up. I pray they find peace in the grave. It's an old structure, but very well built. These ruffians are lucky to have such a perfect hideout. Eureka, no, this is. Let's take it for ourselves. Oh, Eureka, good or not? Okay. Let us crush the defenses. I can still fight. A treasure chest. We'll need to find the key. I can get it open without one if you want. I'm not exactly proud of that skill, but... Yeah, Ash, um... I'll do my best. Let's move. I was all ready to grab a nice halt in that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. What the... Yeah, but we don't need the key. Ash has got it. Okay. We've taken control of the fortress. Now, let us have a look around. Search the basement. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. It's not over. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna need gold. She looks like an academy student. Don't worry. I'll back you up. X. I 
are you here to rescue me? Are you all right? What are you doing here? Never mind. We can discuss that later. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. Oh boy. It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. A sign, not. Yeah, great. Did do. Let's begin. You're on guard duty. Will be your shield. I'll do my best. Oh no, Ash! Why did they give me Ash? I'm you are a little are. nervous about this. They're after the girl. Well, we shook this hornet's nest, so it's on us to keep her safe. And don't worry, we'll do it. Come on, Annika, hurry up. Okay, we should be safe here. I mean, I hope we are at least. All right, who came in here and trashed my beautiful stronghold? Hi, Kranya. Oh, you're good against her. All right. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. We must strive to perform to the- I've awaited this moment. Hi, Kranya. Hi there. I'm Kranya. But you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. It's her. So be it. Kill her. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> If you've got any pretty last words lined up, now would be the time. Not that I'm going to pay attention. Yeah, no, we're not gonna die. Oh, you're not going anywhere, Monica. I have something very special planned for you. Oh no! Restorative. <laughs> 
Axe. There's the level up. I must keep aiming higher. Oh, you asked for it. Release the creature we captured. Oh, hi, demonic beast. We must strive to perform a beast. Get ready, everyone. We have to take it down. Attacking force. You'll never defeat it alone. There we go. I am here to aid you. Stand back now. This is going to be a long fight. It's strength fades. Don't let up. It's fine. There we go. See? I told you it would be fine. You know what? They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible. No, no, not possible. Like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay. What did you expect? We have sheds and ash who are level 40. We won the day. There's the S rank. Premium but I'm getting all the S ranks. Let's go, Dimitri. I must keep aiming higher. I'm glad to be of use. Nice. Ooh, let's go to the tree. How can I best use this power? Well. Okay, let's. You know what we got. We should be safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's Blue Lions, I presume? That's correct. But if I may, how did you come to be wearing our uniform? Also, how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Were you enrolled at the Officers' Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. Yeah? That would make you our senior, but what are you doing in a place like this? Well. well I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. <laughs> this all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Yep. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? I no, probably shouldn't have. Not that have. I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. <laughs> Boom, piss. Piss. <sighs> Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. Oh. You... you didn't? We saw others in the fortress. People who were clearly not bandits. This is just a thought. What if they were the ones truly in charge? And the bandits... No, 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 you're... Uh, you're completely right. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. Oh? What? 
Why didn't you mention this earlier? Because you didn't ask. Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible. No, nope, no, but it's Tomas not. Tomas has been at Garrick Mark even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois, be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Yeah. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Yep. Well, Just now beaching. things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. She a friend <coughs> of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Mm. Gone, vanished, lost. I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. Oh. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had a tough... Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's claim that's worrying about me. And so, the knights have been ordered to apprehend Tomas. As it happens, he's been absent from Garrick Mock for the last several days. Hmm. They are using this opportunity to prepare quietly, and intend to seize him upon his return. Hard to believe someone within the monastery was working against us. It's shocking, yes, but we have testimony from the very person he abducted. Not to mention all the other evidence they found. No surprise they want to bring the guy in. Yep. This could be our only chance to find out about his co-conspirators. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He used to help me track down all manner of obscure books. I always thought he was just a kind old man. Tomas is the last way? person I picture as a murderous kidnapper. I asked around. And it seems he's been in his current position for over 40 years. Hmm. Why he choose to lash out at the church now is beyond me. Maybe his feelings aren't new. There could have been troubling signs for a oh. while that we aren't aware of. Even if that's true, what is the point of kidnapping a student? I'm sure, yes. Yeah, so maybe the kidnapped student is from an imperial house. Or maybe he wants to tarnish the church's reputation. Well, look at you reasoning things out. Your new friends must be rubbing <laughs> off on you. Your Highness, did this man hire the bandits that attacked you in the mountains? That's what I'm told, but I've yet to confirm it. There is evidence that seems to link them. I don't know about you, but I'm going to feel a lot less safe after this. <laughs> You're not alone. Rumors are flying around the monastery about who else might be a traitor. You'd think the church would do a better job vetting the people they employ. You think that, but you know, you read uh, Tomas, and then we had Kranya impersonate. You know, they are terrible at this. Maybe it's not so easy to. Hey, do you hear that? Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well, it sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there and quickly. Yeah, we're on the I think he's here. I'll be back. Shouldn't we take a moment to? Very well. We'll be right behind you. No, you're not. There he is. Hmm. <laughs> That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? Hello, Solon. Such hubris 
for mere vermin. You will pay for this. Find him! Right! What he did was just like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Prologue. Crisis in Ferdiad. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeships and flees, and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Dimitri elects to keep an eye on events from afar and not involve himself in the disturbance. Soon, however, an urgent message arrives from Ferdiad, oh? capital of the kingdom of Fargus. Because the interesting thing in the Golden Deer is that it referenced what happens in the Crimson. Well, that was certainly an unexpected no. conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. In Black Eagles and Blue Lion and Rouse that they have to deal with. Wow. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shapeshifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Well, oh, resist the urge. Don't feel like sharing, hmm? All the same, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. Yeah. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Yeah, or they're just suspicious. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, oh, there you are. Something wrong? No, I... I simply wanted to check in after the unsettling events of the other day. Well, I kind of try not to dwell on stuff like that. But I admit I'm having more trouble shrugging this off than usual. It's gonna make my life a lot harder if my powers end up being evil. <laughs> hmm, perhaps. And yet... Hmm. How do I put this? Power is neutral. The good or evil of it comes from the one who wields it. For example, I possess extreme strength, and have always believed this gift was bestowed upon me so that I might protect others. And you... Used your power to save us, which means it cannot possibly be evil. Didn't mean to fish for sympathy there, but well, <laughs> thanks. My apologies if I overstepped. I've been looking all over for you, Prince Dimitri. Her Grace the Archbishop is asking for you. Oh? She requests that you come to the audience chamber immediately. Duke Froldarius has arrived for Rodrigue. Rodrigue is here. I'm on my way. Let us continue this discussion later. Hold on. What did you say? Oh, well, you see. I've only just heard the news, so I'm a bit hazy on the finer points. But it seems my uncle has seized control of the capital and declared war on House Fraldarius. Oh. All signs point to him wanting to stamp the line out entirely. Wow, okay! That's Felix's family, right? They're one of the kingdom's leading houses. What does the royal family gain from eliminating them? I'd wager it has to do with House Fraldarius supporting my claim to the throne. The bigger question is why the Grand Duke chose to launch an offensive now of all times. Cause there's trouble elsewhere. Whatever the reason, he must have decided to act before His Highness's coronation could take place. My uncle claims House Fraldarius is attempting to install me as their puppet. As such, he issued a written appeal to the Western Lords to help him rescue me from the Duke's foul clutches, as he puts it. What? In what cruel world would our noble house take the reins of a boar like you? Um... <sighs> Don't ask me, it's his pretext. So what exactly is going on in the capital? You said it's been seized. Oh dear. I do hope nobody there has been met with foul play. Yeah. He's in no position to engage such a move until I've been removed from the situation. I say the regent should be dealt with. I haven't heard one good thing about his leadership. I've no intention of becoming a pawn in this game. All the same, I must return to Fargus at once. Did you? We're coming you with. Will accompany me. As you wish, your highness. Felix, 
I'm sure your father will contact you soon. For now, just wait for Rodrigue to weigh in. Uh, Ash? Sorry, it's just that Lenato used to be in the Grand Duke's service, so... He is a man of compassion. It's not out of the question he'll be swayed to my uncle's son. Oh no! Are we gonna have to kill Lenato again? Truth be told, we're not sure where anyone's allegiances lie at this point. So let's not hasten to conclusions, any of us. We must all keep level heads. We're gonna be so bad for Ash if he has to kill Lenato again. I'm told you are sending the knights to help us, Lady Rhea. I do not wish to sound ungrateful, but are you sure you want to do that? The Church of Seros cannot overlook this grievance. Regrettably, many of our knights were dispatched elsewhere several days ago on another matter. However, while we may lack numbers, we have put together a unit of considerable skill. It will be captained by someone near and dear to you, in fact. Someone well suited to a oh, mission. Are we getting Gustav? Someone near to. Ah, of course. That is encouraging. Since its very inception, we have watched over the kingdom of Fargus as one would their own child. When its peace is threatened, the church has no choice but to act. I have not forgotten your outpouring of aid after my father's passing four years ago. And I swear to repay that kindness in full. One other thing. A suggestion, if you will, from the church. Oh? Interesting. So she wants all of us to go with you? Yes. This time, the Knights of Seros will be accompanying us in addition to Professor Yuritsa. Wait, what? Yuritsa's coming? Well, I certainly don't mind. But Annie and Ash, what about you? You know I'm always behind you. But considering what it means for my uncle, I don't know. House Dominic's lands are surrounded by other houses that are likely to support Rufus's claim. If I join you, it could sour my family's relations with our neighbors. I'll go. I mean, of course I don't want to get Lenato into any trouble. But I also know he'd want me to do what I think is right. Oh, I'm no! Sorry Ash. to place such a difficult decision on your shoulders, Ash. And what of you? I'm sorry, Ash, for killing Lenato again. It's just meant to be. I'm in. The more time I spend here at the Academy, the more I miss actual fighting. Besides, I want to use my powers to help. After all, the good or evil of a thing comes from the person wielding it. Am I right? <laughs> Indeed it does. You have my thanks. There you go again, throwing yourself headlong into the first conflict you find. No wonder I have to keep stepping in to guide you. Still, we basically have no choice, so run wild, I guess. I'll inform you of the details soon. Please ensure you're prepared by then. Yep, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I, of course they're close as Alice as Ash and Dimitri and do. Born to the loses his family during eldest the son of a blacksmith in the Jessica region loses his family during the king of subjugation of Dexter swears fealty to Dimitri because of that soul and rolls out the officer academy with Dimitri. When the eldest son of Lambert, King of Fargo, sole survivor of the tragedy of Dusker, serves the distinguished commander of the kingdom leads the suppression of the Western Kingdom Rebellion and rolls an officer of Academy at Garrick Mock. Temporary part ways with the net. Oh right, she's not coming. We'll be afraid out before I know. I guess I should see what the others are up to. I wish I could- can I not change? Oh, it's fine. We'll deal with it, and... Well... I believe... Yeah, that's the end of this, so...